welcome to welcome Fortunate. Welcome to Fortunate. This is Kim and Shane. Get bring your our coffee. coffee. Bring your coffee. And bring a, a Bible, your Bible, and a pen, and a highlighter. And let's highlight and read what the Word, what God is showing us in His Word. Yes. Read the Word, highlight it, it put your name in it. Just get into the Word and study it to show study. yourself approved. approved. Amen. Amen. So um, if you're new here, uh, we always have coffee and our Bible on the porch, and it's a, a relaxed setting to enjoy and bring with our highlighter, and we bring you on. We invite you to come so we can just get in the Word and learn what God, how to read the Word, how to receive it, how to apply it to our lives, Yes. and be a good uh, studier of the Word. Practical you know? applications of God's Word in your life. Yes. So it can produce life and produce fruit. And it's on a nice, yes, yeah, it's on and it's a nice porch setting, so it gives you guys an opportunity to just receive and grow. I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to pray to start us okay. off today. So, okay. so Father, we just thank you for this time and this and, and this time on the porch, Father God. And we thank you that you just bless and you touch those that are watching, Father. Touch our lips, Lord. Let us speak the words that flow straight from your throne, Lord, out of your word of God to produce life in their lives, Lord. Let it give them peace that surpasses and transcends all understanding, Father God. And let the spirit... Of, of your spirit, the spirit of God, go to them now. And the ministering angels, go to them now and give them that peace that I just spoke that surpasses and transcends, brings you up, out, and over yes. every situation in your life. Yes. In Jesus' name, in Jesus amen. Name. amen. Good. Take it there, boss lady. I'm, all, I'm just along for the ride today. Okay, really? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, I'll start with Hebrews 4. Okay. Hebrews 4, let's turn to Hebrews 4. It's in the back of the Bible, close to James and Revelation. Yeah, the parts back there that may <laughs> stick together a little bit, but you'll find it's it. It's close to James, Revelation, and then there's Hebrew right before that. Yes. So Hebrew 4 talks about rest, yes. taking your rest in God. Mm -hmm. And right now is a season where everybody's going to be going out shopping and getting um, things for family members and friends and decorating their homes and we want to bring you to the word in Hebrews 4 to let's take time first to rest every morning let's rest in his word let's hear what he has to say and let's get into it and study like I said study to show yourself approved Amen. a workman is not what's the scripture a workman is worthy of his wages, of his wages. Yeah. and when you study to show yourself approved you're, you're studying the word so you're able to be um, fruitful. To, to be fruitful, yeah, yeah to yeah. be fruitful. And to bring forth the word to others and to live your life for the Lord with the word easily. Yes. So come to Hebrews 4 because this is going to really bless you. Amen. And let's start out with um, 4, right the 4 1, I guess. Yeah. Let's just start out with the first one. I'm going to go down to at least number 13, verse 13. 1 through 13 says, Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Do not not enter his rest. It, let that become like a fear. Not a fear like a, but become like a, what is your translation? It's, it's like a rever reverential fear. It's not, it's <laughs> not, yeah, it's out of respect. Because okay. therefore, since a promise remains of entering its rest, let us fear less of any of you to have come short of it. Don't come short of it. Labor okay. to enter into. Okay. Don't, don't fall back into, into works and strife and, oh, and okay. whatnot. So that's what, yeah, not that's what it means. To so. allow that kind of fear, right. to fear to not get in. Yeah. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith yes. in them that heard it. So have faith while you're reading it. For we which have believed do enter into rest. As yes. he said, Jesus said, as I have sworn in my wrath, they if shall. they shall enter into my rest, Although, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Right? What it's saying, so I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. It's those people who are disobedient. They shall not enter the rest. Even though the works were finished. Because they're from not the, taking it by they're faith. They're not taking it by faith. They're not, that who heard it. You're not taking it. You're not receiving it by faith. So 
they have not entered in, they will not enter into the rest although it's already done from the foundation of the world, the world. so keep going so, so, so this makes more, faith, more sense underline the word faith or highlight it in 2 verse 2 4 2 yeah okay now 4 4 for he hath he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise and God did rest the seventh day from all his works doesn't that sound good yes and in this place again if they shall enter into my rest if you will if right. you will do you want to enter into this rest I sure do seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein and they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief so underline unbelief there because you don't want to have that in I had disobedience inverse, it says or in dis disobedience is unbelief right so it's six verse six now verse seven again he limited a certain day saying to David today after so long a time as it is said today if ye will hear his voice yes harden not your heart don't harden it receive it by faith don't not believe it Yes. That's what it is. Don't not believe it, because that's hardening your heart. For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For the he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works as God did from his. You take time away. You cease from your own work just as Jesus did at the, end, the last seven days. He rested. Take time away. Does it say like Jesus in yours? It says Joshua or mine. That's why I wanted to make sure. Oh. For he that entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own work as God did. Really? As God did. It goes, for if Joshua had given them rest, he would have afterwards spoken of another day. Ten. And eight. Oh, eight. No, nope, it says Jesus has given them rest. Yeah. And then eleven, let us therefore enter. So this one, verse... 11 and 12 underline this or highlight let us they labor therefore to enter into that rest yes lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief hmm. now let us labor labor is work so labor work to enter into that rest take time make yourself sit down get on the porch with us yes spend time in the word that's why we do this 20 minute videos so we can take this time to get in the word and help you get into the word yes. so you can learn to study it and hear it and receive it and understand what he's saying and and uh, let us labor so labor to enter into that rest make yourself push away everything else and take time to do this every morning therefore enter into that rest lest any man fall for the word of God on 12 is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So when you get in the word, it's going to help you discern the thoughts and intents of your heart. It's going to help you to see the deception that's lurking in the, in, you know, the enemy trying to put doubts and thoughts in your mind. He wants you to keep, Jesus wants you to keep the faith. The devil wants you to doubt. So when you don't stay in the word, you're going to doubt. But when you get in the word, it's going to bring faith and you're going to believe and you're going to rest in him, in yeah. his finished work. Neither is there any creature that is not manifested in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him whom we have to do. So that's verse 13. And everything's open. God sees us. We are naked before him. Yeah. His heart, Our hearts, he knows. Yes. So let your heart believe. That's the biggest thing here. Let your heart have faith and believe. Don't have an evil heart. An evil heart to God is unbelief. And that's the simpleness of it. And the simpleness of coming before him and spending time in the word and listening and hearing and growing. It's going to draw you to him and you're going to pray. You're going to worship. You're going to listen to him and you're going to be led by his spirit. You're going to choose the right things as you enter into his rest. Yes. Strive and, to enter into his rest. That's the work right, you, you need to do. Right. You labor to enter into his rest. And, and it, even our last scripture on our last portion, it was Mark 4, and it talks about how it produces fruit when the word is sown on good ground. That goes a, along with this. Uh, it goes uh, goes along with it because it 
as you labor to enter into his rest, the labor that you're doing is, is you're sowing the word. The sower sows the word. So you sow the word into your own heart, into other, and you'll produce fruit. You'll produce the 30, 60, and the 100 fold. And it'll happen immediately when it's on good ground. It'll take root, like we said last time. So as it's taking root and it's doing all these things, it'll give you, like in the prayer I said in the beginning, that it'll give you the peace that surpasses and transcends all understanding. You see, God's word is all knitted together. The things that we preach and teach on this, on the porch in it, together, it all knits together for one common purpose, and that is your relationship with Jesus Christ and that rest that you find in him. You're not stressful, you're not worrisome because, you know, in, in, in Matthew 6, it talks about, you know, to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added. In John 14, it talks about how you, you uh, let not your heart be troubled. You know, the peace, you know, he gives you, not, my, not, you, not as the world gives you, but my peace I give unto you. Mm -hmm. And you come and this discern, discerner of the word, as you enter into the rest, it starts, it starts working these things out of you. It works the fear and the cares of the world, like it said in Mark, Mark 4, it talked about the cares of the world that chokes out the word, right? It makes the word of no effect. It makes it unfruitful. Our job is to, to uh, 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 work at our relationship with him by spending the time, as Kim was saying, spending the time in his word, applying that word in our lives. And, and, and applying it to ourselves, be it spiritually, physically, or financially, in all areas of our lives, because God is complete. He's a whole God. He doesn't leave parts and bits out. He's not that way. He's not a. He doesn't sit here and, and just do little things. And by laboring to enter into that rest, it gives us the, the ability to walk in that peace that God has called us to walk in. Right, and, and then it'll make you bold. Yeah, so I know you were going to go to the boldly. The rest yeah. of it. The yeah, but it, it holds chapter. fast. But if you go, we'll go. Can I read it? Yeah. Okay. Fourteen. Yeah, I'm going to read fourteen through sixteen. Seeing that we have a great high priest, which is Jesus, right, who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our confession. What is our confession? Our confession is Him. In him crucified and risen again in his word. This is his living word, and Jesus is the word made flesh, right? Yeah. So he came to do that. We have, we, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness. See, that's the great, the great part of it is what he did. He came and he dealt with everything that we dealt with, that we deal with, but, but it was in all ways tempted as we are, yet without, without sin, sin, right? So let us therefore now come boldly to, to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace in that time of need. As you labor to enter the rest, then you enter into the throne room of grace. You enter, you boldly come into the throne room of grace. You come in into where the, the holy of holies, right? So now you're in the secret place of the most high mm -hmm. and you dwell there and you dwell in that rest, right? Because so, you've already rested in his word. In his word. So now it's gotten, it built up. So yes. that way now you're able to boldly come to him. And, and that's when you worship him and mm -hmm. you praise him and you pray and you just stay before him in worship. If you stay before him in a worship like that, in a, in a, in a worship, like an attitude, attitude or a posture of worship, even when yeah. you're going places, yep. mm -hmm. you're going to stay in that peace that you're not going to have unrest. You're going to have rest and, and it's for like, your soul. Like Kim and I do too, when we go places and we're out, we'll feel the, the word of God start to bubble up in us, yeah. right? And you'll have it for every circumstance. And when you come across things and, and what comes across your path, that a word will come up or you'll see someone. And, and, you know, even if you don't lay hands on them or you don't, you begin to pray for them or you speak speak life into the atmosphere and, and you, and, you know, and as it said, Paul and Apollos, some seed, some water. You know, I have come that some seed, some water, and it is the Lord but that gives the increase. That gives the increase, right? So, so, so that's that's where we're at. We do these things if we're constantly mindful of Christ, and we're constantly mindful of our relationship and the Word of God. Then we're carrying about fruit, the thirty, sixty, and hundredfold yeah, that does that. And as we do that, and we let, we do that, we're in the field. Mm -hmm. We're we're in His rest. Yeah. It's easy. My yoke is easy. My burdens yes. are light, right? Yeah. That's what Jesus says. Come, partake. Partake of these things with me. I've done it. Even and he's at, coming to give to you. Give to you, yes. Rest. To give you the rest. The rest and it said the, the reason that they didn't, the reason they didn't is because they didn't believe. They didn't believe. Even though the work 
had already been finished, yeah. although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. So the work well, is finished. And you can't come boldly to him mm -hmm. if you have that unbelief. Yeah. Because you're not going to come boldly then. Well, you're you can't. Gonna you come, can't. You're going to ask, oh, please, can I get this? Or right. if it's your will, or could right. I please? And if, and that's not what he wants. You he ask wants a minute, you yeah. to mm -hmm. come boldly. But how are you going to do that without resting first in right. his word? And you have to have the faith, knowing, right, as it said. Having faith, which is coming through the word of God. And, and what can't you do without faith? Nothing. You can't, nothing. You can't I, please God. I mean, you can't please God right. Right, without faith. And nothing is impossible with faith. Faith. With faith, with that's right. Faith, nothing is impossible. It produces fruit. Side. It produces right. the fruit of God right. in your life, and, and and it produces those things in your life. And as you as you begin to speak those things and you declare those things, like it says here in fourteen, let us let us hold fast, fast to, our to our confession. What is our confession? The word of God, the yes. truth of God that so is not subject to change. To our profession yeah. and yeah. confession. Heaven and Anything, earth may, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my, my word, word will word. never pass away. It's eternal. Anything we profess or confess, yeah. if it's in line with the word, if it's in line with the word and faith, it's going to happen. Yes. It is going to happen. It's a it matter creates, of fact. It you've come boldly, and that's when you come boldly and you say, this is what your word says. I declare it. I receive it. It's done. And you know what? God loves that. And he loves that. He He'll work with that. He loves that. He loves that when, when his children do it. With, he knows your heart. Yep. He doesn't want you he to have an it. evil heart. He it says it here, that. right right in the scripture oh, that we're in. Oh, that's right. Yep, it, 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 right. Sharper than any two-edged sword. The word wow, of God is right. living and powerful. Yes. And it discerns your heart. It's and it knows. And it it's discerns discerning. it. And you have that joyful heart and that joy of the Lord that is your strength. And how do you do that? By your testimony. You How do you defeat the enemy? Right? By the word of the... By, by the word of God, and you know, join, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, or by the, the blood of the by the blood of the lamb and the, the word of your testimony, word of your yeah. testimony, and joints and marrow here. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, when joints and marrow, only liquid can get through that, not yep. even a knife. Yep. You know, not, um, doctors can't even work; they can do. They have to with, drill, yeah, drill they to can get do into it. Yeah, with maybe laser and yeah. stuff, but but the joint and the marrow, it is that close. Yes, that close. So. 12, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, spirit and right? of the joints and marrow, yep. and is a discerner. So the soul and the spirit, it's like the joints and the marrow. It's so close. And God can bring that together. When it you're, has to come together, yes. God has come together when you're in faith and in the word. And it and it bears, it bears forth that fruit. Yeah. And that's how you do it immediately. You it's sown on good ground, like it said in Mark 4 in our last one, our last portion. It's sown on good ground. You've heard it. You've taken it. You received it. And it produces fruit immediately. Right. And how does it do it? Because your mind, will, and emotions, your soul, and your spirit are as close and it's together just as the bone, even the joints and the oh, marrow. marrow. And that's how it's spirit, together. Spirit, soul, and joint, it, marrow. And then it reflects out into your body and into right. your physical, right? We are a spirit. We have a soul. We live in a body. And it actually just mm -hmm. came to me. Your, your soul and your spirit, if they're that connected, is yeah. going to flow into your body like you just said. Yes. And it's going to work in your real soul tomorrow in your bones. In your real marrow. It, it's and life. it's going to heal your body. But it's, your life, body. To your, it's yeah. life to your flesh. It's life to your flesh. Joshua mm -hmm. 1 actually says mm -hmm. that it is life to your flesh. Yep. And that if you keep the word before your eyes and ears, you're going to have life in your flesh. You're going to have prosperity. You're going to have uh, favor. It says life to your body. Yes. Your, your bones. Healing. You know, healing. Healing. Amen. healing in your bones. So... This word is alive and living. It's and powerful and sharp. This is yeah. one of my favorite verses. It by is. The way. It's Kim's favorite Four verse. 12. But you know what? She's going to, we're wrapping up now, and she's going to do the uh, prayer. Kim, okay. you want to do the prayer and, right. and lead people uh, to the throne of grace and lead and them lead them to the very one who gives us that ability to walk okay. in this in Jesus' So if you name. want to ask Jesus in your heart and if you want to just make a turn toward him and you do know him yes. and you want to turn toward him, just pray this to with me. 
also yes. making Jesus Lord of your life. Father yes. God. Father God. In heaven. In heaven. I give you glory. I give you glory. I want you in my heart. I want you in my heart. I want to discern the things of God. I want to discern the things I of God. I want to eat of your word. I want to eat of your I word. I want to drink of your word. I want to drink of your and word. And I want to have life. I want to have life. And I ask you in my heart right now. I ask you into my heart right now. Forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. And I make you Lord of my life. And I make you Lord Please of my life. Please teach me how to hear you. Yes, Lord. In your word, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. And help name. the people out there not to have unbelief in their heart, but believe. Have a believe. heart of faith. Hold no. fast yes. to your confession. Hold fast to your confession. I speak heart of faith in you. Heart of faith. Jesus Hallelujah. Praise those, the Lord. Even those who are wavering a little who do yeah. know the Lord, just Hold have fast. heart of faith, faith. and have believe. Heart of faith. And believe it's so, a beautiful thing and remember always that your words, words are, are your, your way, way to, to victory. victory and we 